Good day everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Dave. And I'm Steph. And we are from the Crispy Small YouTube channel. And our lovely friends from Attraction Tickets Direct wanted us to share with you today our top three must-dos at Kennedy Space Centre. Yes, these things you cannot miss. Kennedy Space Centre is a great place to escape from all of those Orlando parks. It is located east of Florida and is situated in 140,000 acres of National Wildlife Refuge in Cape Canaveral. So even if you're not an avid space fan, you could actually possibly get a sighting of an American bald eagle. And one mm. of them is pretty rare to find one of them actually in America. And it's pretty awesome yes. to see that. Like we're talking about Kennedy Space Center, this place is a place to be inspired, amazed, and to pretty much be educated in a place of just a massive amounts of history, this is a pretty awesome place to go to. So one of the first things that you must do when you're going to Kennedy Space Center is to go on one of the bus tours. Now the bus tour actually takes you all the way down to the Apollo and Saturn V Center. Now before you actually get there, you actually see, just on the glimpse, the VAB, which is the Vehicle Assembly Building, which they actually assemble for rockets before they actually go up to space, which is yeah. pretty awesome. Kennedy Space Center facts for you peeps. On the actual building, is a painted American flag. One of the biggest American flags as it hits 209 feet tall, 110 feet wide, and you can, we can relate to this. Well, not really, but we can kind of assess this. Each star on the American flag is six feet tall. Now I'm five foot seven, so. Yeah, you're gonna kind of, it's past this camera, but it's quite it's tall. It's quite big. Now as you arrive at the Apollo Saturn V uh, center, you get to experience a live countdown of the Apollo 8 mission. You actually see the consoles which were used on the Apollo missions and pretty amazing. After that, you will actually see a full scale a Saturn V rocket, like the one that was used on the Apollo missions, including spacesuits, moon rocks, and other Apollo mission artifacts. And I'm telling you, it's gonna pretty much surprise you because there is so much to see. Our second must do is one of my favorites, and that is you must enter the Atlantis exhibit. So before you go into the exhibit, you will watch an introduction video, which I tell you will give you goosebumps. Once the screen lifts up, you will actually get to see the real Atlantis shuttle. They've got it on display, and it's the most breathtaking thing you will ever see. <laughs> you will get to see the actual space shuttle up close from every single angle. Because you get so close to it, you can actually see what it's actually made of. But not only in this exhibit you have the shuttle, there is lots of interactive areas where you can experience what it's like being an astronaut. And also you can actually sit in your own cockpit. I felt pretty big when I was on that. I tell you, I was pressing all those buttons and I was moving that joystick, I was enjoying myself. Our third place that you guys cannot miss, which is actually a brand new thing that opened in November of 2016, is the Heroes and Legends Center. The first thing is, there are quite a lot of exhibits in this and I wanna just kind of literate just the two areas. Now the first one, where you get to experience Through the Eyes Over Here, which is a 4D multi-century theater, where you basically get transported into an astronaut and live and experience all of the exciting space missions that they get to do. Now, including that is also the Astronauts Hall of Fame, which features 93 of the heroic men and women done these amazing feats of getting into space. And you get to learn each and every one of their stories and a little photo opportunity for you. You actually get to see Alan Shepard, who was the first astronaut ever to go into space. And you can get a little photo of him, maybe even a cheeky selfie, oh. if you fancy it. Overall, Kennedy Space Centre has grown over the years and it has improved so, so much, bursting with so much information. Not only the uh, the three things that we covered before, but you also have the Rocket Garden to the IMAX theatres, to uh, the expedition on Mars as well, to also dining with an astronaut if you wanted to. There's some really cool things that are actually happening. And better still, if you are actually on holiday during the time of a launch, that is your ideal time to go to Kennedy Space Center. Mm. Kennedy Space Center is truly one of a kind attractions that you will have so much knowledge from space. You'll even come home and you'll be able to top trump your work, friends. Also, with that type of information, if you get that subject on a pub quiz about space, you'll be ace. Get out, get out. If you guys head over to the Attraction Tickets website, they are doing a special offer where you can actually purchase adult tickets for the price of kids. That's pretty awesome. 
So links are in the description for you guys to check it out. That's pretty awesome. It's like we're big kids too. Treat your inner child. <laughs> Not only they just do regular admission tickets, you can even get tickets that include transport just in case you can't actually head over to Kennedy Space mm -hmm. Center. So there you go guys, that is our top three must things to do over at Kennedy Space Center. I really hope that this video has helped you out with your holiday planning and uh, whatever you may be doing during your vacation, I hope you have a really, really awesome magical time. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe to the Attraction Tickets Direct. YouTube channel because I've got loads of other more videos for you guys to help out. So in the meantime guys, thanks very much for watching today's video. Take care, happy planning. Bye. See ya. Bye.